Hi, my name is Alex with ATEC Tech Tutorials and today I have a special treat for you. Today I have a sponsored video by Old Street Solutions and I'm going to be covering custom charts for Jira. If you haven't already, please make sure you consider subscribing to the channel, drop a like if you get any value out of this video, and if you have any questions about anything in this video, please let me know in the comments section below. I am really, really excited to share this video with you because custom charts for Jira essentially takes where Atlassian fails at helping you to create like magical dashboards that help tell the story of how your project is doing and custom charts just comes in, swoops in for the win and basically allows you to create these hyper super customized dashboards that are going to be able to give you the ability to tell the story, control that narrative, if you will, of how your projects are doing in a very clean and elegant and effective manner. So let's jump into Jira and I'm just going to compare and contrast a the Jira default, what's out of the box available metrics and gadgets compared to their custom charts equivalent. And then I'm also going to tell you and show you a couple of other tips and tricks that I like, that I really, really like from the custom charts offering that you just do not get with the out of the box gadgets. So let's jump into Jira. All right, so here I am in a typical executive dashboard. Now this is something that I just created very quickly to kind of just do a proof of concept and really a compare and contrast between the two. So this isn't representative of something that I would typically create, but I try to keep it as true as possible, right? I try to keep it as value added as I would typically do to essentially share with my executive team how a project is doing. Because at the end of the day, they just wanna know how's my money being spent and what can you tell me about that? So using that kind of to control the narrative of this video, I wanted to just share again with the differences between what you get out of the box versus what you get when you enable custom charts. And hopefully by the end of this video, just give you information, right? So the first thing that I have here is a pie chart. And so I've created two pie charts, one for the out of the box gadget, that is the pie chart, and one for the custom chart equivalent. What I like about this is I have a pie chart out of the box. It's gonna tell me the statuses because that's just the condition that I set for this example. And it tells me how many issues are there. Now that's good out of the box. Jira does pie charts really, really well. And I think that's it. <laughs> you really can't do anything else. And so what I do like about custom charts, if we flip our attention over to the other side is, not only are we gonna get pretty much the same information where we, we have a pie chart breakdown of our issues by type, but we also get a percent. And this is really valuable because now an executive can see this 54.9% and go, huh, we're about 55% complete with whatever criteria this filter is being driven by. In this particular case, I'm pulling in the whole project. So if your whole project is the product, then we're about 55% delivered there or completed there. This can be customized. You can add a bunch of other data uh, into these. And this is just a very simple, it took me a couple seconds to create. When we come down, the issue statistics, it's really my main favorite out of the box gadget that Jira has. Issue statistics really gives you a lot of visibility into the world of your project, right? It, it gives you a lot of information to the health and status of your project. And it does so in a very simple yet somewhat effective manner, which is I like it because I can get the information I need, but sometimes I need a little bit more customization. For example, I'm gonna take the next two items, which is my by priority, the issues, and by fixed version, the issues that are all involved there. And I'm gonna show you what they would look like over here in the custom chart side. So what I like about the custom chart side is that not only do I get the same by priority item here, but you also get the story point. So you can add additional columns that you can sum up, right? And you can get percents, but yeah, you can essentially add more items or more columns to your graphics. So you're not limited to just that by priority. You can also change the colors, you can reorder things. And so you got a lot more power here. And then the by release here, I have a bar chart, which essentially again, they're telling you the same thing, but what I like, what, what is making this a little bit more unique is that customization part, right? I am not constricted to just the pie chart, right? I can actually pick different visualizations to that I can choose to present my data with. 
And then the last treat here that I have for you that I really want to highlight is the tile chart. This is one of my favorites. This is the one that I probably use the most to help drive the execution of a project. Now this tile chart, there is an equivalent in Jira, but you have to have JSM. So if you don't have JSM, you actually don't get this feature. And so just for this tile chart capability, just this gadget alone, in my opinion, custom charts is makes it worth it. Now there is a second gadget that custom charts provides. It's called the simple search. And I am going to be highlighting that in my next video. So please make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you drop a like in this video because you're not going to want to miss out when I drop that video because these charts, they're pretty static at this point. There's a powerful capability built into custom charts that is basically going to just completely blow the out of the box gadgets out of the water because these are essentially all static. But our world that we live in is very dynamic. There's a lot of questions that our executives typically ask us and there's a lot of what if scenarios and they want to know very specific like well show me this based on that and a bunch of other things and in this next video that i'm going to be publishing i'm going to show you how all of this becomes dynamic and how you can basically control the search capabilities of of your dashboards which is in my opinion the most powerful reason to actually go and adopt custom charts but Anyways, just to wrap this video up, this tile chart here, one of my favorite, it basically allows you to customize what information you see here, and then you can deep dive into the issue. So in this particular example, I have these things broken up by issue type, but I typically do my own custom queries that allow me to essentially control what I do see, and then I'll get a numerical value that I can then click into, and then go deeper into the actual data in Jira, and then do my analysis. So that's going to do it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Custom charts, if you haven't tried it out, get a free 30-day trial. It is going to significantly expand the power of Jira. Those out-of-the-box gadgets, while they're cool, while they're effective in their own way, they just don't give you that customization. They don't. They, they make you compromise too much on the metrics that you're trying to show. And they, they really limit that creative freedom that you have when you're trying to tell the story of the health and status of your overall deliverable. So if you haven't already, go to the marketplace, check out custom charts. I'll leave a link below so that you can just go to it. It's sponsored, but not sponsored in the way of like I get a cut. So just I'm just letting you know that this is just a plugin that I use. I've been using it for nine, 10 months now. Really, really enjoyed it. Brings a lot of value to most of the clients that I work with. So I recommend you go check it out as well. And come back next week because I have many more custom chart videos coming your way so that you can learn how to do some of the cool things that I've been leveraging for the last few months. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.